Good morning, Kay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to try and read this book with Crew today because this is one of his favorite stories. What's it called, Crew? Stuck in a book. <laughs> it's called Stuck. The title is Stuck. And it is written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. That means he wrote the words and he drew the pictures, so it's pretty cool. Oh. And Oliver Jeffers lives in Ireland and he has written so many books. He is one of my favorite authors and I have lots of his books here at my house. So if you like this story, I can read you lots more by him because he's really funny. So in this book, there is a very big problem. Hmm. The book is called Stuck. What do you think the problem is? Oh. What do you think? We better read and find out. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's show. Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Flight Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. Oh no. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. Get out. And that got stuck get, too. Get out. I know we can't get it out. It's stuck. Oh no. Can I get it out? He can't get it out. No, here, sit on Mama's lap. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched Mitch, his cat. Mitch, ch, ch. there's that CH again. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this time it was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. Hmm, what do you think he's going to do with that ladder? Why don't you turn and talk? to one of your stuffed animals or your sibling or your mom or your dad about that. What do you think he's going to do with the ladder? Teach. What do you think he's gonna do with the ladder? Crew's distracted now. I think he's maybe gonna climb up it and get the things out. Let's see. Up he threw it. I was wrong. Was your prediction correct? I'm sure you can guess what happened. That got stuck too. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know it, the bucket of paint got stuck too. Then Floyd tried, okay, this is gonna get really silly. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. Oh my goodness, crew. The family car to knock down the front door. Hello. The milkman to knock down the family car. The milkman is saying, did you get up here the same way? An orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere else to be. He probably had to be at the zoo or in the jungle, not up in a tree. And where did Floyd find an orangutan? Oh my goodness. A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat. Hey, there is an anchor. I remember we read about anchors when we read about Columbus and the pilgrims. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. And there is the person who lives in the house saying, hello? How do you think this person feels? Floyd is picking up their house. How do you think that person feels? Probably very, very confused. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. A curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Hi, what are you doing, says the whale. Oh my goodness. Could this story happen in real life?
away. I don't know. I don't think so. And they all got stuck. Look at all of those things stuck in the tree. Oh man, that is wild. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up went the first engine. Can we help? Followed by a fireman, one by one. And there they stayed stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing and Floyd knew he was going to be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and he went to find a saw. Hmm, okay, so he has an idea he's going to find a saw. What do you think he's going to do with the saw? Why don't you teach your neighbor? Teach. Crew, what do you think he's gonna do with the saw? Crew's whispering. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I mean, saws are usually for cutting down wood or cutting wood, so maybe he's gonna cut the tree down? That would be a good solution. He lined it up the best he could. And he hurled it up the tree. Ugh. Oh my goodness, Floyd. He's so silly. And that was it, pop. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and he put it to use immediately, enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. What was he forgetting? He got the kite back. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. <laughs> he forgot that he left all of these other things stuck in the tree. That silly boy. He got his kite down, but he forgot about the rest. So the problem in this story was that his kite got stuck. Floyd solved that problem. The kite got unstuck. But now there's a new problem that there are lots of other things stuck in the tree. So I think we need a sequel to this book. What do you think? Crew has found markers in his drawing now. So I better go so he doesn't draw all over the carpet. But I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.